Good morning, Shade Tree Kids. I hope you have had a really great week. We've had some good weather here in Ohio, and I hope you've been able to spend some time with loved ones as we get ready to go back to school soon. So our affirmation for this week has to do with wishing others well and taking care of other people. Last week, we talked about service. And so this week, we're going to talk about being an instrument of blessing. And I can explain a little bit more about what that means. So our affirmation for this week is I wish only blessings for all. So Gandhi talks a little bit about that and you can talk to your adults around you about who Gandhi was. He was a very important person, but he says, keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts become your words. Keep your words positive because your words become your behaviors. Keep your behaviors positive because your behaviors become your habits. Keep your habits positive because your habits become your values and keep your values positive because your values become your destiny. There's also a scripture that we want to read today that is from Philippians 4.8 that talks about the same thing. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there's anything, if there's any excellence, and if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. So that just talks about thinking about things that are really good and make us feel good and that are good for others. It's important to think of those things. So I'm going to read you a story and then we're going to do um, a bit of an exercise at the end and then we can talk about it a little bit. Francis was born to wealthy parents and lived a comfortable life in Assisi, Italy. But when he was a young man, he felt a great love for God in his heart and left his life of comfort in the city and lived in the country as Jesus did without any belongings. Wearing just a simple rough robe, he sang to God, and some people thought he was crazy. Soon, however, there were others who went to live with him in the forest, and they called one another brother. Brother Francis taught them about seeing God in all people and in all creatures of the forest. He called the birds and animals brother and sister as well, because he felt the same love for them as he did his closest friend. Francis would talk to the birds and sing to Brother Sun and Sister Moon with great joy. During his travels through the country, he learned of a large and vicious wolf that was terrifying the people of the town of Gubillo. The wolf would attack the people of the town when they went to work in the fields and everyone was afraid to leave their homes. No one would let their children play outside. Brother Francis decided to help and he asked the townsfolk where the wolf lived. They were amazed and sure that they would be killed, but they showed him the direction of the evil wolf's lair. How could a simple monk without any weapons or means of protecting himself do anything about the beast that was the entire town was scared of? The huge animal could hear Francis coming down the path and it rushed out to meet him with teeth barred, hair raised, and muscles tense, ready to launch itself, the intruder. But Francis did not run in fear or attack with anger. He calmly made the sign of the cross in the air and spoke kindly to the wolf. Come here, brother wolf, in the name of the Lord. The wolf immediately stopped and lay down at the feet of the saint like a friendly dog would. Francis then spoke to the wolf and scolded it for frightening the people of the town. You must promise to stop all the killing and I will ask the people of Gabio to feed you until the end of your days. Will you agree? The wolf bowed his head in agreement and even walked beside Francis all the way back into town. Townspeople came out of their homes at the sight of the monk and the wolf walking together as friendly companions. When Francis asked them to feed the wolf, they agreed. The wolf bowed its head and placed its paw gently on the hand of Francis to show the people it agreed to change and be peaceful. When Brother Francis left in the town of Bio, the wolf stayed. It would go door to door for food and people grew accustomed to seeing the friendly wolf around the town. They lived together as, brother, as brothers until the end of the wolf's days, just as Francis had said. So I have a couple questions for you. Why did Francis call the other monks and even the animal brother or sister? Are animals our brother or sisters? An armadillo is not my brother. A snake is not my sister. But maybe if we think of them as important as us, that can change how we see them and even how we treat them. Which do you think is true? That Francis was really good at hiding his fear or that he felt no fear, only love? And if he felt only love for the scary wolf, why do you think that was? If you felt angry towards someone, what do you think would help you to think about that person with blessings? What are some things that you can do? Have you thought about that at all? So I want to go ahead and do something called visualization for you. So all you need to do is sit and pay attention and relax. 
So I want you to sit quietly and close your eyes. I want you to imagine a family member or a really, really dear friend. I want you to feel the love you have for that person in your heart. Now I want you to imagine sending the love from your heart to the person in the form of a beautiful white light. See them surrounded by the light. And I want you to notice the light getting bigger and brighter. As you imagine the light, I want you to notice how you're breathing. When you take a breath in, say love. When you exhale, say peace. I want you to see the light connecting the two of you in a flow of God's love and peace, almost like a magic string. I want you to go ahead and think about how you feel about this person and maybe praying for that person. So throughout this week, if you can imagine that love breathing in and peace breathing out and thinking about that love you have for others, it can help us to be blessings for all people, creatures, humans, everyone around us. And it's really important. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for allowing us to be blessings for all. Help us to see creatures and humans as the same important and help us to treat every person and creature we come into contact with love. Amen. Hope you guys have a wonderful week and hope you talk about these things with the adults around you. Bye friends.